We are back, stopping and starting the stream for recording for timer purposes, recording purposes. Let's get on with this. So we're going to start a new game, brand new game, by two hours in. What difficulty do you guys want to see? Normal mode or hard mode? Okay, that's one vote for hard. Anybody else? Anybody else have faith in me? Or otherwise want to see me horribly mangled? <laughs> okay. Hard mode it is. Here we go, guys. Y'all tell me if the sound is horrible, because if it is, I will mute this and just start playing music. Because the sound isn't absolutely necessary, and it sounds kind of horrible on my end. And if, But if you want to keep it, then that's fine. I turn off my remote while I'm not playing. <laughs> I love this game. This is one of the first shooters that I was ever able to play and be good at. Halo was the other one, and I'm s I, I say be good, I mean survive for a modest amount of time. Okay, so guys, here's the thing. For entertainment's sake, do you want me to take the time to scan everything? Or do you want me to actually just play the game? Because I will totally just play the game. Up to y'all. Nice. That's awesome. Uh... Roy's our boy says, the first shooter I ever played and got good at was Quake. And that's kind of funny. It's kind of funny is my, that my sister introduced me to it when I was six. That's pretty awesome, actually. Okay, so here we go. Should turn the remote on. That would be helpful. Ah, I should have scanned that. Well, so do we want to? Do we want to take the time to scan everything like we should? I'm going to start doing that. If people tell me otherwise, then I will stop. Doom. Nice. Yeah, actually, to be perfectly honest, the first shooter I really played was Heretic. Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders, I think is what it was called. I don't have double jump yet, do I? Nope. Does not have space jump, does have morph ball. Okay. Yeah, the ability... The lack of the ability to... turn with the other deal is actually kind of disorienting, I'll be honest. It's so different. It's been a long time since I've used these controls. What scanning does is it gives you general information, it fills up the data book. You literally cannot 100% this game unless you scan everything, including your ship, multiple times. Some things you have to scan, you can't progress the game without doing so, but if you literally, literally the only way to 100% the game is if you scan everything. I don't think I'm going to 100% the game whether I scan everything or not, to be honest. Uh, I don't like not being able to strafe. Because I have the target for that. Okay. Do need to throw some scans out here. Try to leave the text on the screen long enough that it, if you guys want to read it, you can.
That is a Parasite Queen. We'll be fighting one of those later. Oh, that was kind of silly. Really needed to have scanned him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that completely. Whereas our boy says, When I was a lot younger, I hated strafing and just ran through stuff and shot. I also didn't get used to mouse aiming until about two years ago. So I can understand that completely. I don't think I was actually like that, though. I think I kind of got it down pretty, pretty, pretty well on uh, Heretic. Which I have. It's another game I can download, but... Oh my god, it's an old game. The controls are clunky as hell and really hard to get used to. And so on and so forth. I'll be sure to throw out a disclaimer the next time um, I call for a vote, though. Uh, since Jamestown was on the uninstalled list and I didn't make comments that... Anyway, the reason I read out comments that I'm responding to is because I do upload this stuff to YouTube from time to time. I'm probably going to end up skipping uploading Kirby um, because it's just going to be too long. But that's why I'm setting a two-hour limit on these games. Anyway, we have a map. We're not going to care very much about it, actually. I do want to scan these things, though. Gives us brief information about Talon 4 which is the planet we are currently orbiting. Oh my god, I don't like not being able to turn with the other stick. It's really, really disorienting, let me tell you. Oh. Okay. Basically, shit hit the fan here, and uh, we actually intercepted a distress call from these space pirates. For those of you who are not familiar with Metroid at all, Space Pirates are basically the enemies of the game. I like how the gun steams. This energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching arcing electricity. What we gotta do is we gotta wait for that to stop, and then go through this hole here. Lovely Morph Ball, or Maru Maru, I think is what it was called in the original game. Now we actually got some enemies to fight. Ow, pain. I don't have missiles yet. Yes, I do. Awesome. God, these controls. Okay. Should have scanned that. Should be scanning all this stuff I'm picking up, too. Teresa, the thing is, I don't have Jamestown downloaded. I forgot. It's on the uninstalled list, and I literally... Uh, since it's on Steam, it would take me eight hours, five hours at least, to download it, just to be able to play it again. So what I'm going to do is it is on my priority list to download. It'll be downloaded overnight while I'm uploading, um, actually, yeah, it'll be downloaded overnight, because I've got another episode of Minecraft to upload from Twitch today, but, uh, but I can't play it, I literally can't play it today, and I'm very sorry about that, but 
like I've got a list of uninstalled games so that people can say, "Hey, I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you play that. Will you download it next?" But unfortunately, I can't download it in a short amount of time. Like it won't be done downloading by the time I'm through this, and it would interfere with the uh, with the stream. So unfortunately, I can't put your boat back up there. It would kind of be pointless. But like I said, it is on my priority uh, to download next. Oh, uh, the hunter. The hunter is how they refer to Samus. That's what they call me. Or her, rather. How frequently do I stream WoW? Uh, well... To be honest, I've been streaming WoW a little bit less frequently recently. But it is my... It is one of my preferred games. I've just been... I like... I basically stream anything. Anything that I want to, anything that people want to see. Um, I record my Minecraft Let's Play via Twitch and actually include the people in chat while I'm doing the Let's Play so your people's names will end up on the Let's Play and um, conversations will be had. Okay, yeah, I do have Super Meat Boy downloaded so let me add that up there real quick. This, I'll, I'll tell you right now, Super Meat Boy is one that I'm very likely to rage at. Um, but yeah, I, I can stream well. I love streaming well. It's, it's just a matter of the fact that I do know it bores a lot of people, and I don't get very many viewers from streaming it. I basically stream it when I'm doing something I enjoy on it, like Raid Finder, or just have to grind out some quick heroics. But um, I also have the Mists beta. So, that I can stream. We can stream some Panda Monks. If you want to throw a vote at that. Again, guys, if you want me to stop scanning, because it will take a decent amount of time out of the, out of the stream, uh, let me know, and I, it will stop. I'm just kind of doing it out of reflex. It's part of the game. Maximum firepower recommended. I like the fact that I've always liked the fact that this game had aim assist. It's really hard to play Metroid Prime 3 without the aim assist. It was hard to get used to. You guys should see my play, my limited playthrough of. Uh, the other day, oh my god, I'm horrible at FPS games. I'm horrible at legit S FPS games. I really am. It'd probably be better if I had a controller to play it on. But yeah, I'm gonna start trying to do on-demand days more often. Although, next week, I definitely have to record some more Minecraft, so that will happen at least one day. Tomorrow will be a semi-on-demand day, but it's also a Q&A day for the Fort Karen Stake Marathon that me and the rest of the Doomhammer's Legacy guys are doing. So, it's primarily going to be people come in, watch, ask questions about the marathon. And it will happen... It, I'll very much be encouraging people to go to fortcarensake.org to watch the stream instead of being on Twitch. Although we do still use the Twitch uh, chat for it. Lock enabled. Use inter please insert metallic sphere to open door. Why would they, honestly though, why would they use a door system that actually caters to Samus? <laughs> they know all of her abilities. They know how she works. But they continue to cater to her power. kind of ridiculous. 
Also, I thought that door was just kind of going to stay open. I need to scan those. Okay, my... Those are back up. Let's save! Yay, saving! Oh! Oh, good! I do have a memory card plugged in. I didn't even think about that before I started playing. Obviously, I did, though, because otherwise I wouldn't have had the save files. Wait a minute. Something else to scan. Oh, uh, we're moving on to the boss, guys. Death caused by cranial trauma. Wow. He got bashed in the head. Okay, here we go. I love the cinematics in this game. The way they did this game, I have always loved it. It is all it has definitely been a favorite. Okay. First things first, I really need to scan her. There we go. New creatures entry log has been added to your logbook. Parasite Queen, Parasite Female, genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in the creature's mouth. Use your auto targeting to acquire this new target. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen, origins unknown. Creature exhibits the ability to fire weapons grade blasts of energy from its mouth, a trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the space pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Basically, we walk around in a circle and shoot at her. While those are moving the way they are, oh yeah, we need to uh, strafe as much as possible. So that we can avoid that. While those are moving fast, I try to fire as fast as I can so that I can actually hit her as best I can. I love how I didn't actually intend to strafe right then, but I kind of just did. Well, the camera's not looking directly at my face. I can change that. Okay. I should probably jump up and get some more coffee real quick. To be honest, um, I don't, I don't play anything that isn't browser-based. That's that's a rule that I created after the suggestion of playing Happy Wheels, which I would love to do, but it's not browser-based. And the thing is, it just takes a good bit of effort to actually set it up so that I can play a game, so that I can play a flash game. Um, within the browser. Basically, I have to stretch another window across the frame that the Flash game is playing in, and, uh, stream it from that window instead of the actual window, uh, instead of the actual browser window. This creature is deceased. Well, who'd have thought it? Yes, I use XSplit. I, it's very, it's one of the best streaming programs I've come across. It's definitely a good game. It's definitely good. It's not free anymore, but it is, uh, I am still going to die. It is still very much worth the price that they put on it, which is not all that great. Yep, I just died. I highly, highly recommend 
Oh, continue from last save? That sucks. I highly, highly recommend Xbox to anyone who wants to stream. For 15 bucks, you can get a three-month subscription, so that's good for me. And for what was the two-year pre-sale price, you can get a one-year subscription. It's only 40 bucks. And that's for the personal. I've actually got the premium, and I got it before release, so it's, uh... I've got two years on it, and that was 60 bucks. I don't know if there is a better streaming program that actually can pull the flash from things, but I don't think XSplit can do it. So what I just do is I just pop like a, I pop like one of my ta one of my sticky notes like I'm using right there uh, over the frame of the game, and I will stream it like that. I just really don't like to do that. I like to use my game source as much as possible. Maybe one day I'll start doing it that way. I just don't really want to. Oh, that was a bad plan! Why did I do that? Oh, do I have to scan her again? Yes. It's another one of those games where I really gotta play instead of talking. Or I will fail. I'm already failing pretty bad, actually. Taking way more damage than I need to be. Especially earlier while I was talking about WoW and such. Or, um, when I was fighting those space pirates. Awesome. Yeah. Really? Well, I used it when it was free, but... I used it when it was the beta. But I've got the two-year sub from, uh... I've got the two-year sub from the thing. I didn't know you could get an actual subscription. I didn't know there was a free subscription, so good job. I still heavily recommend it. For the price that it's at, I don't think it's too bad of a price, and it is an amazing program. That's why on the last day of the sale, I was recommending it to everyone on my Twitter. Really hard to avoid half of this damage. But if I can't shoot, he shouldn't be able to hit me, which I'm wrong about. Okay, apparently this one doesn't have one of those deals. Ah, oh, they don't hurt that much. This one... should... 
No, it doesn't. Okay. My God! Ow! With the blood and the you. Okay, this one. Really? I cannot see a thing. Fine. We're just gonna shoot at them. We'll get plenty of health back from it anyway. Now this one. Where is the pile driver? Must be much later in that I'm thinking of. The only downside to that is I just cannot see a thing when I'm doing it. I've yet to have a single issue with XSplit. I have had some dropped frames that I wasn't getting before, and I've had to lower my bitrate a little bit. But other than that, I've had no issue. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had to lower my bitrate a bit more. I don't know what the problem was. But... You know, I can, I'm perfectly fine streaming at, if I can stream at an 800, 800, uh, 800 megabyte bitrate, then I'm good. I'm, get, I'm okay with that. 800 megabyte, what am I saying? 800, uh, kilobyte. That's fine. Sin considering the minimum bitrate for streaming is 100 kilobyte per second, I'm fine with my 800. And it's, you know, as long as, as long as it's streaming, as long as it's, not being stupid, and as long as I'm not having people screaming about how bad the quality is, I don't really care. But yeah, I love XSplit. XSplit is the bomb. And although I've, to be honest, I have not started, I've not messed with that many of the streaming programs. Most of them cost too much money for me to have messed with. And, you know, I'm not gonna... The, the, free, the free trials, in most cases, just aren't worth it. So... I don't know if the free trial for XSplit's gonna be worth it, to be honest. But... The full version is definitely awesome. Yeah. This is the one I was looking for. Oh, wait. Which way am I going? I need to go towards the... Yeah, I think I need to go towards that. I'm still gonna die if I'm wrong. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. The new and improved Ridley. Samus's most famous enemy. Being distracted and escape the freaking ship before it explodes. Good plan. Being able to turn those off is also a great plan. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Be careful there. Here we go! And now we lose all the cool stuff that we have! As usual. <laughs> In every single game. Let me tell you, I wish I still had um, my Metroid Prime 2. I really need to get the Wii 
um, collector's pack, whatever it was, the, the, tri the trilogy game, because that would be very nice to have. Where am I going? How do I get out of this thing? And less than a minute to escape! Oh no! I am going to die! That's fire, let's avoid that. This is the main docking bay. Airlock depressurizing, depressurization complete. Let's get the f out of here. I don't have my morph ball or anything. Yay! Escape! We are all victorious! Let me get that cursor out of there. Does it look stupid? Again, a reference to the sound quality, guys. Does the actual game sound sound okay? Because, again, I'm hearing both the TV and what's coming through my capture card, and it never sounds good for me when the capture card's going. Okay, good. I was so worried the first time I streamed Super, Super Mario World with an audience. I was commenting on how bad the quality must be the entire time. It was kind of funny when I went back and watched it, and I'm like, oh my god, this sounds fine. What was I worried about? But this is a higher quality game, so I wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah, see, there is a problem. I was losing one side of my audio there, I think. The thing is, the, the connection, I really need to get a better splitter. The connection through my splitters is <laughs> ridiculous. It's kind of bad, so I have to be... I can tell that I'm losing sound. There should be more sound there than there is. Okay, so, onward to victory. Now we need to scan the ship again. Did I scan it the first time? I don't even remember. But the ship upgrades several times. Here we go, we're gonna go on. Actually, guys, I'm gonna pause it just for a bit. I wanna get me some more coffee, so I will be right back. And we will continue on with the adventures of Samus on Talon 4. Okay, so let me restart. I don't think we have enough time to do another two hours of another game today. Because uh, when we're through with this, it's going to be about 4.30. And at 4.30, or er, at uh, 6 o'clock, uh, we have a raid, uh, a Firelands raid scheduled with my guild. 
I am the guild leader and one of the only healers in the guild, so I have to be there for that. Which means I only have maybe, you know, here's what I'll do. Here's what I do. I would only have maybe an hour and a half of stream time left. Oh, I don't have my charge beam anymore. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream Super Meat Boy for an hour. And then I'm going to have to stop that one. So we will, get, well, we, will, we will get the hour of Super Meat Boy in there. But uh, at that point, I will have to stop and move on to WoW. And I may or may not stream Firelands, but... Last time I attempted that, we had a really idiotic tank who was just pulling everything left and right like an idiot. And, um... I don't really want to do that again. So, you know, if it's an absolute fail group, if I start streaming, the stream will stop if we're failing left and right. But, with any luck, it'll be something we can do. We can have fun. You guys can watch us have fun. And so on and so forth. We might have maybe three to six uh, guild uh, guildies in the actual raid. It depends on how many people show up. So, I may do that, I may not. I'm not sure. Okay. So we're going to go find that seismic activity. That seismic activity is actually my morph ball. So we're going to go get that. This game is pretty linear, but you do have to go back and forth between different areas. You have basically get power up, get power up, get power up, get power up, go kill the bad guys. Oh, coffee. I love you so. I did put too much sugar in you, though. Okay, so I'm seeing four people in chat, and six, including my, not including myself, and six viewers. So, uh, fifth unnamed viewer who is not in chat, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. And if you do have a chat account, feel free to use it. Uh, we we welcome you with open arms, and I, I could use some I, I could use some actual chat interaction because. <laughs> Although I'm not able to look at it all the time since I'm looking at a different screen, I am... I, I do I do like talking to you people. People are too quiet. Okay, um... I can't go in there because we need missiles. So we're gonna go up here. But yeah, you guys give me a topic, I will talk. <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, um... Do we want to go down there? Can I even get up here? You know what? Let's let's consult the map. Uh, where am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to there. Which looks like... I want to say it connects from the side here. So let's go through down here. I don't have a wife. I am... I am... I, I am an un actually in an unfortunate place in my life right now. I am 24. And I am living with my parents after uh, being unemployed for two years in Georgia and having some a bit of drama go on there that made me move back to Texas. I'm happy that I moved back, though, because I found a job really fast. And although I lost that job, I found another job relatively fast compared to the issues that were going on in Georgia. So... Chozo lore! We chose our departing now. After so many years in peaceful seclusion here on Talon 4, when we came th to this place... When we came to this place was a refuge for our spirits, a civilization built from native materials, bereft of the trappings of our technology. We were linked to the land here, kindred to the plants and animals, far away from the machines we had become so dependent on. And so we leave it now, pristine, a testament to, to the mortal forms we no longer need. We have drawn the veils of time and space aside, and are withdrawing beyond the illusion. But we will never forget this, the most sacred of our homes, and we will remain ever watchful. Save point detected, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you you have you have great skill, my friend. Black Fox Bravo asked me how the wife was, which prompted that response, and then he said, uh, "I'm so good at making conversation." Yeah, you you definitely have skills. This is one of the lovely things about this game: the fact that we actually have stuff that gives reflection. Also, bugs don't like me. These bugs. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to kill them, just a bit. Just a little bit of death and destruction. You know, not too much. We have a save point, let's use it. Oh! Wonderful me, I forgot to change stuff on here. I'm sorry if anybody's popping in looking for Kirby Superstar. That was genius of me. Hopefully the update will change it for people on the site that are looking to find out what's going on. That was really stupid of me. Okay. Hi! How you doing, friend? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a little bit of surprise there. Just a little bit. Not too much. Wasn't uh no actually seismic activity is the missiles. What am I thinking? Why did I think that was the morph ball? Oh well. Oh I should scan these things. That would be nice. That's not what I was scanning. Scan! New creatures! It's a scarab, an exploding parasite that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Nice. Okay. This room! I hate it. Mostly because I just fell, and there are bugs everywhere, and they all want to eat my face. Every single freaking one of them. At least they're not bolter flies. Oh, that's a k missile door. No wonder I can't go in there. Okay. Bug. Hello, bug. God, these controls are so disorienting. It's so hard to get used to this again. After having such freedom of movement with the Wii. Did they update the controls for this on the, on the trilogy? Do I watch other streams? Um, not very much. Not as often as I used to. Most of the streams I watched back in the day were marathons. Um, like, uh, Mass Effect Marathon and, uh, Mario Marathon. Randall Thor knows me from the marathons, actually. But, um, recently I did, I did watch a little bit of Brotato, if you guys have ever heard of him. He's a really cool guy. He does, um, Brovasians every once in a while. I was watching a WoW Marathon, actually. And, uh... What, he actually did a Brovasian of the WoW Marathon. I'm like, really? What's going on? What is this? Eventually, I went ahead and, uh, looked into his channel. And he's a really cool guy. He's 19. He works for, uh, L2R... TV, and he streams for a living. He, he he's a literally a professional World of Warcraft player. So that's really cool, and I support the fact that he was able to do that. That's kind of what I want to do with this. I'd be very happy if I could do this professionally. I've got some plans for selling T-shirts based on favorite quotes of viewers, things viewers have said, things I have said, and. Uh, stuff, but I'm not going to pursue it, like, aggressively. Not too aggressively, rather, I should say. Because I don't want to drive people off with my greed. But, other than that, I don't really watch that many people. I, I, I just, I watch more, I watch more people on YouTube than on, than on Twitch or anything else. Where is it? I do have this wonderful radar that's completely and totally helpful. But yeah, like, I, I tell you right now, I love, I love Jesse Cox, I love Dodger, Cinnamon Toast Ken is a new favorite of mine, I've been watching him a lot recently. Um... I watch a little bit of Total Biscuit. I do watch some of his WTF is stuff. Um, but I like I like watching Let's Plays. I like I decided to do Let's Plays because I like watching them. I 
I do like it. I will admit, I will say that I do like it when, uh, our guy Beck does his StarCraft streams, which he does from time to time, but he's not able to do them right now because of the XSplit going live. I am so about to die. Where are you? Yep, there I go. We're not too far away from there, though. Loading, please. Um, trying to think if there's anyone else I'd really recommend. Oh, actually, when I did watch live streams, I watched the CubeTubers. The CubeTubers is more of a group than any specific person, but they do a lot of streaming. They started when Centrio was doing Minecraft Gamer Girl or Minecraft Girl Edition on uh, Livestream.com, and I used Livestream.com up till recently. I think they've finally switched to Twitch, but um, they're really cool people. Axbane is one of my favorites. Axbane has been my favorite. Uh, Silver Dragon is doing. Uh, Dwarf Fortress streams recently. Several people have been doing Dwarf Fortress streams actually, but oh my god. <laughs> I like killed myself just getting here. Give me that. No wonder I died so easily. I killed myself even getting here. Um, but yeah, CubeTubers I would recommend if you're looking for anybody to watch regularly. CubeTubers is definitely people worth watching. And Brotato. But other than that, like, Tao Lee is a highly recommended WoW streamer, but, uh, I don't, I don't really watch very many people, so I just can't say. I really need more health. Um... I'm going to attempt this, but I guarantee this is not going to end well at all. Do any more help to get whatsoever. Doesn't look like it. So this is not going to end well. Probably going to die again. But yeah, CubeTubers is awesome. Grotato is awesome. And I highly recommend most of any, almost anybody on the TGS is pretty awesome. I've <laughs> been watching, Warped Gaming has been doing a uh, Portal 2 multiplayer uh, drinking game recently, and it was pretty fun watching them scream at each other while they failed horribly at Portal 2 was pretty fun. I think avoidance is actually the best strategy. There we go. Ow. Ow. Ow, oh, no, I'm in the water. <sighs> yeah, okay, I've got a Gotta, 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 gotta keep my health up to do this. Okay, we're ending about 10 till the end of the first hour, so I'm going to stop and reset my timer um, so that I don't, so that I can give myself a bit of buffer time. But I'm definitely going to shoot for stopping at about 4.30. Uh, at least on this, and then I'll have the hour between 4.30 and 5.30 to, uh, play some Super Meat Boy. Yeah, guys, this, but still, I want to do the on-demand stuff more often. It's something that I'm kind of, it's, this is kind of my thing I'm going to do, but, um, it's something that I have to 
work with because I don't know how the scheduling is going to work. Two hours, I think, is best. If I have to drop it down to an hour and a half just for the sake of making sure that I have uploadable content, uh, that'll be done. But otherwise, I'm, I'm very happy to do this, and I greatly enjoy playing games that people want to see on request. I like that concept. So... So guys, keep in mind, uh, tomorrow we will be streaming live uh, Q&A for, for Karen's sake. And I'm not going to go too deep into information on what that is uh, today. But if you guys are curious, pop in tomorrow. And, I, you know, if I, if, even if I end up answering the same five questions over and over again, I will be answering questions about this. So... You can come in at any time tomorrow. Um, relatively the same schedule as today. I'm going to do my coffee hour at 10 and then do the... Um, and then start the Q&A. So keep in mind, keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions as to what Forecarent Sake is or what it is, check out forecarentsake.org and... Um, And feel free to show up tomorrow and ask a question or two. Is she really just going to stop in the middle of the platform? Wow. Okay, I did not realize that that one stopped. Where are you going to stop? Okay. But yeah, feel free. With any luck, we'll have a good bit of questions so I won't hardly stop talking. Ow! Oh no, no, no! I am so dead. There is no way I'm getting back up there. What a bad place to fall in the water. Oh my god! Oh! Really? You know, I've usually beaten this fight by now. I'll be honest. That's probably the worst I've ever done. This is probably the worst I've ever done on this fight. It's bad. Flat out, just flat out bad. I think streaming is both a blessing and a curse for me. Sometimes when I'm streaming and showing off, I actually do better. But sometimes I just get horribly distracted and just suck terribly. I've actually strengthened my strategy, I think, for this fight, because I was streaming it. I just need to actually make <laughs> make use of it. <sighs> I'm not even going to bother scanning anymore. What? Who's doing Sly Cooper 4? I've never even played any of the Sly Cooper games. Did I really just jump off the platform? Wow. So bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? What the crap? How am I doing so bad at this? I just need to be careful of where I am. I was doing so well up to this point. I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> I tell you, though, right here and now, Super Meat Boy is going to be a rage fest. I 
have played a little bit of it. I haven't played that much. Again, it's one of the humble humble pack games that I got, so I haven't put that much time into it. And uh, <laughs> uh, if I get to new stages, I will be discovering them. And you guys are going to have fun watching that. Do through the door, please, friend. Through the door. Okay, let's try this again. Be careful where I stand, but do try to avoid the bugs when they start swarming you. At least my controller's not giving out or anything. I need to find a wired controller. I'm fairly sure I have one. Why can I not target? Ah! Why? Why? Why did it let me target? If I can at least shoot it, it looks like they stopped charging. So I need to make sure I do that. There. doing is I'm watching- Oh, no, 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 why, no, oh, God. <sighs> You're kidding. Okay. So there was one off of the side that I didn't notice, and it pushed me into the water. <sighs> why? It's like my it it it's like the universe starts trolling me the certain, the moment I get into something that where I actually need to be performing well. I swear to God, this is too easy of a game for me to be doing this bad. <laughs> oh my! Oh real. God. Fine, fine. I'll kill you all. How's that? You happy? Oh, we're gonna play that game, huh? Quite like that game. I'm very good at that game. There we go. Okay. One thing I need to do is get better at the games I play. Because I feel like sometimes if I fail too much, people do actually get tired of watching it and leave. This is just retarded, though. Come on. Forty minutes in, and I've yet to kill the second boss. Okay, where are you gonna stop, guys? Gotta keep an eye out. I might just have to kill one at a time. Yep.
dodging. I learned well from Piccolo. Awesome. Finally. And so we have explosives. We can no longer be trusted. Boom. Also, energy pack. I still don't have the morph ball though. So, there's actually nothing else I can do in here yet. I do have to come back here at a later point in time. I love how things fall from the ceiling. Give me a path back to the door. Open. Sesame. Actually, someone else I watch relatively often is Mike the Microphone has a Livestream.com channel, and I greatly enjoy watching him from time to time. He does tend to have a bit of crude humor, which I don't particularly care for crude humor, but he's also fun to watch. And so we find the map room! And I remembered him just a second ago because he was playing Metroid Prime last I watched of Metroid Prime. He plays Metroid Prime, he also plays, uh, he's been playing Luigi's Mansion recently. Which I do not have, unfortunately. I would totally play that shit. I'd say there better not be anything spawning. Um... Right this way. Broad, follow me this way! Walk this way. That's all I can think of right now. I shoot you out of the sky. And then I go set my game. I don't have the charge beam. There we go. Now we're gonna go open that other door and go get our morph ball, I think. Ah, scarabs! Totally just walked th through them anyway. Hi! How you doing, friend? I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Hi! Can I shoot you in the face, too? These guys are so easy. Awesome. Big guy? No, little guy still. I like goblins. Really? We're rowing? I see you! Give me that. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. What does this say? Passageway to shrine. Cool. I'd love to go visit a shrine. That's right, there is another un unlocked door that we can get to, but we can't actually do anything there until after we have the Morph Ball, so that's why I'm going this way now.
I just hope to God that I still have a save file on Super Kirby Superstar the next time I play it. I tend to lose my save files from that because they don't save all the time. Look! It's the Morph Ball! Well, this is easy! So we think. And... Bunches of enemies. As usual. Let me just shoot you in the face, shoot you in the face... Uh, shoot you in the face, or not. Ow, that kinda hurt. I should stop stepping on spiky things that hurt me. Ah. Oh, I don't have any missiles! Why don't I have any missiles? I am actually kind of getting hurt by these guys right now. There we go. That should be all of them. But now we have another friend. Looks pretty tough. Except for that giant glowing spot on its butt. Hi, how you doing, friend? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I really wish I had some missiles. Toro! 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 I might have gotten hit right then. Come on, die already. Awesome. I'll scan it before it, before it completely goes away. Good thing I already know how to fight most of these guys. <laughs> Yay, missiles! Finally have some. Let's get this freaking morph ball already. Onward to victory! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. That's what I get for looking away. Okay, <laughs> stop playing around. Wait, that's what I've been doing all day. Where are you, friend? I just want to blow you up! Anyone give me missiles? No, of course not. I just wasted all of my missiles. <laughs> Good job, Samus. Good job. Uh, okay. So now we just have to scale this mountain over here. Not really. Oh, I actually did need those missiles. Wonderful. Only because I could have destroyed that hive. Both of those hives. Wish these guys would give me some missiles, that'd be nice.
And we go through this tiny little hole here. And there's more! Of course there is. Wonderful. I don't think I can do... Oh, here we go. Got that. Um... There went my screensaver. That's wonderful. Can't do anything with that right now. Oh, I haven't scanned those guys yet? There we go. Okay, now how do I get over there? I forget. Probably... Like this. Ow. I ran into the bug. Thankfully I didn't land in the poison. Okay. Oh! I didn't land in the poison! No! Bad! Bad! This is not good. Not good in the least. Ow, that hurt a lot. Okay. Let's not do that again, please. This should be a save point. Look, it's Zubat! Oh, bad joke. Okay. That is not a save point. What was I thinking? Let's go back. Swear to God, there's a save point over here. Swear to God. You know what? Let's find out. No, that just goes back to that area. Okay, this is where I need to be. There's a save point in here, I think, though. Hmm. Okay. These guys, they're a pain in the ass. They're called Reaper Vines. Basically, they hit you, unless you do that. Okay, um... I want to go down there first, I think. Yep, save station detected. Yep, that's the way I need to go. I don't think I've actually figured out where I need to go next yet. That is where I'm going to need to go eventually. But I need to get my charge beam. Uh, see you later, Black Fox Bravo. Thank you for joining us. Okay, it's some more bats coming at us in a minute. There they are! Save point. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> I mentioned that, actually. <laughs> yes, tomorrow is the For Karen's Sake Q&A Day stream. I'm going to be streaming for about the same time as I am today, probably later a little bit. Um, and it's going to be kind of an on-and-off request day. I might, like, do the first two hours of World of Warcraft, and then... Or maybe the first hour of World of Warcraft, and then like every three hours, do another hour, every two hours, do another hour of World of Warcraft or something maybe. Because we're doing a marathon with World of Warcraft, but it will be primarily requests, and I'm going to be answering questions about the marathon. So yes, short answer, yes. Come join us, it'll be fun. Preferably not stand in poison. That could be terrible. Ooh. That's nice. I think that, I think they called blast caps. Ow! 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 Missile upgrade. Let's try 
try not to stand in the poison, please. Ah, now we're gonna get the charge beam. Of course, first I have to... Hmm. Nope, nope, it's just that there are mushrooms there. There we go. Wasn't there one right here? I thought there was. No, but there is one right there. Okay, what I'm what I'm searching for is the sigils I need to scan real quick because they open up the path to my charge beam. That's one of them. Afita Zane, yes. And this and thus we say goodbye to Black Fox Barbara Bravo for the day. Here's the second sigil. The third sigil's up there, right next to it, so... I'll have to go get that. Let's find our way back over here to the side. Knock back this reaper vine. Avoid that mushroom. Okay. Ow! Ow! Let's not keep doing that, that's a bad plan. Oh, what I would give for space jump right now. Scan that. The last one shows up right there. Maybe? Oh, are you kidding me? Where's the last one? Oh, no creature. Where's the last one? Okay, so there is another one I have to find. Wonderful. Where is it? I've forgotten. Oh, 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 oh. I think... It's over there somewhere. I want to say there's something... There it is! There we go, and then there's a fifth sigil right there that I have to scan, and that will actually open the gate, which will allow me then to get my charge beam. There we are. A bit more lore. Charge beam acquired! Press A to hold and fire and such and such and such. These are the guys that we were dealing with earlier with the laser beams. Well, we can blow them up with a charge beam blast and not have to deal with them later. We'll have to come back here at a later time because there is a door here that we have to blow up with morph ball mines. But for now, we're actually a lot closer to moving on, getting... going to the major boss in this area, and actually, uh, also getting the various suits. It's the next thing we're getting, I think. Might have to get more ball bombs first, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's next, actually, but very soon we will be going after the various two. I don't think... no, I have to have the space jump to do anything else here.
But, let's save real quick. There we go. Shriek bats. We've dealt with them before. Oh, no, no, I might actually be able to get up here without the space jump. I got there was a platform here. What am I doing? Just blow them up with a missile. Crowd the corruption leads even higher. Oh, I got pushed off. Okay. Thankfully, not by much. Fun part will be when we get to the point where we go and gather all the artifacts. Yay, gathering quests. Quite used to those. Oh, I almost didn't make that. Okay. That worked out, definitely. Now... This might lead me to my bombs, actually. I think this is gonna lead me to my bombs, actually. I nearly forgot about that. Okay... Um... Okay, lock system is engaged, so I have to unlock that. For this, I actually have to go places. Can't go down there. It's not this direction I need to go, then. I might not be able to mess with this yet, actually. I don't remember. No, I can go this way. I can't mess with this guy yet, though. Stone Toad preys on creatures smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. Stone Toads are able to perform... Uh, my stuff changed a little bit, that was weird. I accidentally pulled on the cords. Yeah, I fixed that. Okay. There we go. In this air little area. And this actually leads to a door. Yeah, this is where we're going to get the Morph Ball Bombs. Really? <sighs> Wonderful. Technical issues, give me just a moment. when this happens. Okay. We have really crappy video. It's the audio we're after. And we lost video. Okay. Apparently there isn't any music. So I'm just freaking out for no reason. There will be, though. Oh, gosh. Okay, no, I can't do anything for this until... Ow, ow, ow! Okay. 
and then bugs. Ow. I'm taking so much damage. There we go. So that was not the best, but it was quick and we got it done. And now we get our Morph Ball bomb. bomb. I don't even. Alright, now we say that I don't have to actually go back out the same way. There is a path, like, right here. Actually, no, this might only be an upgrade. Missile expansion. Happiness. Yep, that's all that's in here. Now, to get back out. Mobility is what we have. And we have a lot of it at this point. Oh, see you later, house mouse. Sleep well. I'm going to be stopping pretty soon anyway. But again, thank you for coming. At least, um, on this game, I mean, I'm gonna be stopping. Boom. Frog is dead. I need to get to a save point soon. Energy spike detected. Really close, too. Okay. That drains the water and starts a timer. The timer is me getting to the other area and turning off the other power deal. See you later, house mouse. Okay, there's another timer. Oh, I could have actually gotten that done a lot quicker. And this should open the door. That reminds me, after Super Meat Boy, I gotta write up some rules for the uh, chat and such. Because I forgot, I haven't done that yet. Because we haven't had that many people. But I'm gonna have to write those up so that, because uh, I expect a decent crowd tomorrow. I can hope for a decent crowd, at least. I guess it depends on where the tweets about the stuff come. I'm very happy to get the support of Michelle Morrow, who is an avid WoW player, and also is trying out for the role of Sylvanas if and when the World of Warcraft Live movie ever comes out. So that'll be wonderful.
get a tweet from her, maybe. But, yeah. She's really cool. Hoping to get some other people in, but I've sent out three emails and not gotten responses. I need to send out a few more. Anyway, energy tank! Trying to get WoW playing celebrities to talk about us. Okay, can't go there yet. So at this point, I think it's safe to go back to the save point. Yeah, I think it's safe to go back to the save point. There's something there I could go get, but I'm not really worried about it. I need to go up here th up here now. Wait, where's the energy spike? Oh no, it's over here, isn't it? No? Where did that tell me to go? I've already forgotten. I didn't even look at it. That was a big fail. That was a lot of fail, what am I saying? What am I doing? I don't need to go through that again. We have Morph Ball and Morph Bombs! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna head to the save point, guys, and I'm gonna take just probably a short break between this and Super Meat Boy bathroom, get another cup of coffee, maybe a snack. This is gonna hurt. Oh, wow. Somehow I didn't screw that up. Very happy. Okay. So there's my save point. We're gonna stop here. And I will be back relatively shortly with, uh, Super Meat Boy. See y'all in a bit.